a brand new video. So, as you can see from the title, today is one of my favourite videos and I think it's one of your guys' favourites too. And it is nothing other than a good old Hope Bargains Poundland and also Pan Stretcher Haul. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie, I have never been into Pan Stretcher until obviously this day. No, okay, I have actually been into one, like I've entered the zone of one, but I've never brought anything from there. So yeah, basically I went to a new Poundland. It was the one in, was it Beeston? I don't know. It was somewhere in Nottingham and they actually had a pan stretcher right next door. So I thought, oh, brilliant. I'll have a little look. Such a random little store actually, but there were some really good little buys in there. So yeah, I got one bag from Poundland, one bag from Pan Stretcher and three bags from Home Bargains. Honestly, Home Bargains is that shop where I feel like everybody goes in just for a couple of bits and, and you come out having spent like 40, 50 pounds, I swear, and you don't even know what on. Didn't necessarily need it. It is lethal in there, I tell you. So yeah, Currently Saturday, I'm dead chilled, so that is why I've got my trackies and well, I say that is why I've got my trackies on. I feel like I have trackies on in every single video just because it's so comfy to film in. But anyway, I'm gonna jump on and get in. Make sure you do go and grab yourself a cuppa because this one is gonna be a pretty long one. Yeah, get yourself cozy, get yourself comfy, and yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I picked up from these stores. Okay, so running order, pound land, pound shot, shot, and I'm gonna save the best till left. So, nipped into Poundland, I actually got a few really good things. Okay, so the first thing I picked up was from Astonish, and it is this fabric refreshener in Cotton Fresh. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love Astonish products. I think they're really, really good, really inexpensive, and they're also like cruelty-free, vegan, friendly. Honestly, this is possibly the best fabric refresher thing that I've ever purchased ever. Forget Febreze, honestly, forget Febreze. This is where it is at. One pound, and this smells truly sensational. Do you know when you spray something on bed linen and it's... Oh, I must have worked about this. Let me just spray it again. It's only one pound, so it's a lot cheaper than all your breezes and things like that. And yeah, in my opinion, it's so much better. So I absolutely love that. I've been spritzing it on everything. Bed linen, sofa, curtains, carpets, the lot. Next thing I picked up wasn't actually a pound. It was two pound. Um but it's quite reasonably priced for this because it can be sometimes a little bit more expensive and it is just my mandatory favourite Shrubbery and Lily Comfort Creations Fabric Conditioner. I absolutely love this. This will always be up there with one of my favourite fabric conditioners. Um, I like to use it as well to steam the kitchen. Do you know, just put it in the um, sink, hot water, and just steams the whole kitchen. Makes it smell amazing. Um, and yeah, it's quite like toxic friendly doing that instead of like the floor. Right? Not that it's, the floor is so bad, but it's just another way. Yeah, absolutely love that. Next thing I picked up was simply just some antibacterial floor wipes in lavender. I absolutely love floor wipes. I have been trying to cut back on wipes. I don't use wipes so much, but I still do like to buy a pack of wipes because I really like wipes and things like cleaning the toilet with. Also, sometimes I like to get like nooks and crannies on the floor with a wipe rather than just a mop because sometimes a mop doesn't pick up everything when you clean the floor. So yeah, there's only a pack and they're just those really big wipes. So that's why I like getting floor wipes rather than just little small ones just because they're so much bigger and stronger. I then picked up just a couple of frames. Honestly, if you want affordable frames, go to Poundland. They are obviously a pound each. Um, they don't do a massive range in my pound, and I'm not gonna lie, they only do this size, which is the 20 by 25. So I've got a black one and a white one. So yeah, I've got those. I picked up some microfiber cleaning cloths. Um, this is just a four pack. You get like pink, blue, purple, and like a turquoise colour. Nothing special, but I just needed a new pack. I then also picked up this Spanish stain bar. Um, it simply looks like this. So I picked this up because I actually had a stain, I think on a top or something the other day. And I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna get it out with? Um, I just feel like these are really handy to have. Do you know, just if you have a stain on a top, one pound. And I feel like Spanish is always a good brand um, to get rid of stains. So yeah, just thought I'd have that put in the cupboard. <laughs> okay, last couple of things. I told you it wasn't a lot from Poundland. I wasn't actually that impressed. Didn't really have any big new in. Next thing I picked up was just a deodorant, soft and gentle, jasmine and cocoa milk. It smells quite nice actually. It's not the best, but it smells quite nice. So I've got that. And then I also picked up a sheet mask because I love a good sheet mask. I use a sheet mask every Sunday religiously or Saturday. Just depends how I'm feeling. But yeah, once a week I love a good sheet mask in the bath to relax and just obviously detox my face. 
I got this flamingo one. So it's just a flamingo printed sheet mask and it's also coconut, which I love. So yeah, simply looks like this and obviously it was only a pound. So yeah, that's what I got from Pound Land. Now I'm gonna move on to Pound Stretcher. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm really intrigued by Pound Stretcher because I've never been in there. And yeah, they have like, a real assortment of stuff, quite affordably priced too. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay, got my receipt so I can tell you how much everything was. So the first thing I picked up, again, mandatory. I buy this every single time I go into any of these sort of shops. And it is the Harpic Active Brush Mountain Pine. Absolutely love this toilet cleaner. It is by far my favorite. Smells amazing and just does an all round brilliant job. These were only 90 pence in pound shred shell, which is quite cheap. They can be a pound in shops, sometimes it can be a little bit more, but 90 pence is like the cheapest I've ever seen it. So I got two of those. I then picked up another one of my favourite, favourite fabric conditioners, and this is definitely a newer. This is definitely something that I found more recently. I think I got this in my last home bargains haul, I think it was, in honesty. I use that up so quick because it is bloody amazing. Now, this full price in like Asda and Tesco's, I thought this woman was joking to me when she said this was like five to six pounds. Um, because I was actually standing in Home Bargains on the last visit and she was like, you wanna get this while it's on offer because it's like two pound 50. She's like, in the supermarkets, is it six pound? I thought, no, surely not. When I went into Asda the other day, I had a look at this and it was like 5.50 or something ridiculous. I was like, oh, I'm not paying that. So. When I was in Pound Stretcher, I saw this for 2.69. Yeah, 2.69. Guys, go and sniff this one. It is a comfort intense, luxurious. It's like a double concentrated fabric conditioner. That doesn't mean anything to me. I still use the same amount as what I'd normally do. It just means my clothes smell even more stronger, even more amazingly scented. Um, but yeah, this smells so good. And I use this in my mop bucket as well because it just smells that good and just like to dose it all around the house. Oh my God, they need to release like so many different things in this because it's just so, so good. So yeah, this is the one. Let me just put it up close so you can see. Definitely get this for your washing because I'm telling you now, my washing has been smelling insane since I've been using this okay the next thing i picked up was just a bath cream this was 90 pence and it is the relaxing lavender bath cream i've had a little bit of a thing for lavender at the moment i've really been enjoying the lavender scent and i've not i've not always been that into lavender i don't know what it is but i'm obsessed with it at the moment i feel like especially when you have a bath it's just so calming so relaxing and i'm obsessed with bath so like i cannot have a bath without bath soak i have to stop up on my bath soak it has to be there because oh I love it so much. But yeah, 90p. Next thing I picked up was a Dishmatic, but Pan Stretch's own Dishmatic. And this was only 69p, and you get one refillable head. I just thought that was so inexpensive. And yeah, mine's about on the way out. Um, well, actually it's not, because I always just change the heads normally. But I just thought I'd get a new one, just in case it goes missing or anything happens to it. And it was only 69p. Um, so yeah, it honestly just looks exactly the same as Dishmatics and they're a little bit more expensive than this. So I thought I'd pick one of those up. Next thing I picked up, which honestly guys, I've been using this this morning doing my cleaning and it's so, so good. I'm so impressed. It is the Star Drops Window and Glass Cleaner. Um, I have obviously, as you know, a lot of mirrored furniture in my house. Um, I obviously have my Smeg toaster, kettle, coffee machine, coffee table. So I like to have some window and glass cleaner, just something that's going to get the smears out and make it look really sparkling clean. This is only 69p and I used it this morning and it's so good. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, if you want something that's streak free and really cleans up your silver as well, definitely recommend this. I'm just really impressed with it. And the last thing I picked up from Pan Stretcher was just some Lenore Tumble Dry Sheets. These are a little bit more expensive. I never find these that cheaply priced to be fair. And they're $1.99, but I really needed some and these are so, so good. Honestly, they smell so nice. I don't know if anyone else relates or if anyone else uses a tumble dryer. The one thing I put on in tumble dryer is that the smell can sometimes go. So to stop that, if you use these Lenore tumble dry sheets, honestly, they're so, so good and they do help keep the smell in your clothes. So yeah, got some of those. Okay, so moving on to the home bargains haul, which is the most exciting part of this haul. I'm so annoyed, guys. I can't find the blooming receipt. 
I feel like every time I go to Home Bargains, they always hand you the receipt rather than put it in the bag. I know it's not their fault. Um, they gave the receipt to Aaron. I've just remembered where the receipt went. That's why I've not got the receipt. Anyway, first thing I picked up was this notepad. So this was only, honestly, about one pound something. And it says, things to do today. I just really like this. It's white marbled with rose gold detailing on. And the reason why I like this is because I'm a massive list maker. I love making lists. I feel like it just helps organise my day. The first thing I do when I wake up is I'll make myself a cup of tea and I'll make a to-do list of what I have to do. Whether it's cleaning, whether it's work, I love to-do lists. I feel like they're so satisfying to take off. Um, and yeah, I just love this one. So yeah, this is what the pages looks like. So it just says things to do, day, date, um, and it's like priority, so you could even put like a priority sign next to it, and then you can just tick it off there. Oh my god, how satisfying is that? Um, and yeah, they're just all the same. Just, yeah, just a really good book. It just saves me writing all of my notepads, and I can leave my notepads for actual making notes about things. Um, so yeah, I really, really love that book. The next thing I picked up was an extension lead. Now, this is only a few pounds. I swear it was only like two to three pounds. It wasn't anything more than that. And it says one, two three, four, five, six. Oh my God, it's a six, two meter extension lead. They had loads of these and they were all really inexpensive. Uh, but basically the reason why I needed it was because in here, the plug is actually over there to the light um, and this cable doesn't stretch over there. So I can't actually put that light in at the moment. So I'm gonna use the extension lead and that would also mean that anyone on this side of the bed can put their, um, anyone, no, not anyone, Aaron, who sleeps on this side of the bed, can put his phone on charge at night as well. So, yeah, just handy to have. They're also really great, guys, if you go on holiday. Now, I don't know if anyone else does this, but if I'm ever going on holiday, I always take one of these um, in my suitcase because anyone else feel the struggle sometimes when you go to a hotel room and there's only one plug socket so annoying and also it just saves you taking loads of adapters just take one adapter and um, if you go into like a foreign place that doesn't have our uk thingy with jigs um and yeah that way you can use all of them so good such a good idea so definitely recommend doing that as well okay bag number one First thing I picked up was this wash away makeup remover face cloth. Now, I've actually already got one of these and they are so, so good. It's like a flannel essentially, but like the softest thing for your face ever. Like 10 times softer than a flannel and I've been really enjoying like constantly cleansing my skin all the time. I mean, I've always been a cleanser, but not like religiously every day, if that makes sense. Sometimes if I'm lazy, I'll do a face wipe in micellar water. Always micellar water after I can't just do a face wipe. Doesn't clean your face at all. Like lately, I have been really in a strict routine with my skin. Um, obviously, cleanse in the morning, cleanse in the afternoon. And yeah, I've been using this and it's so, so good. So I saw it again on the shelf and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get another one then because I just love them so much. And when my other ones are in the washing machine, I can obviously use this one. So yeah, I think this is only like a pound. I then picked up a makeup applicator sponge. This is from someone called Olivia Hale. Can't say that I've ever heard of her, but there was so much like makeup stuff. Actually looked really reasonable. Don't know how good it is, but this really, really reminded me of the Real Techniques one. It honestly just looks identical, girls. There is literally no difference, but yet this one was only, I feel like it was about a pound. £1.50, wasn't anything more than that, that's for sure. And I was like, oh my god, I'm actually just going to get that because I love the Real Technique ones. They're my favourite, favourite beauty blenders ever. Um, but they're like four or five pounds. So I thought I'd try this one. I'll let you know how I get on with it. But it honestly, just looking from the outside of it, looks exactly the same. What I picked up was some face wipes. I don't actually use face wipes an awful lot nowadays. I do just go straight to the sink and take my makeup off that way. But they are handy just now and again if... You know, you're just in one of the moods where you really can't be bothered to take your makeup off properly. <laughs> and so if I'm in one of the moods, I will just use a face wipe and then micellar water. Always micellar water after. I still can't just do a face wipe because it makes me feel gross. Um, I'm not going to recommend these because they're absolutely crap. <laughs> I tried them in the car. On the way home from Homesense, I was driving. I was like, I need to take my makeup off. It's doing my head in. And it honestly took me about four to take my makeup off. That's how dry they were. So yeah, they were cheap. And there's a reason for them being cheap. Next thing I picked up was just some cocoa and butter, softening hand cream with vitamin E. Again, this was only, I think it was actually cheaper than a pound. It may have been a pound or less. It wasn't that expensive though. I do remember it not being expensive at all. And I'm really trying to get into using hand cream because I feel like hands are one of the things that age 
the most. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like you can always tell how old someone is when you look at their hands. Like, if they've got old, wrinkly hands, you can tell their age. But yeah, anyway, I feel like it's really, really important to look after your hands and make sure that, you know, just as well that they're nice and moisturised because hands can get really, really dry. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd pick up some of this because it smells amazing and got a bit got a bit of an obsession with hand cream at the moment. So yeah, thought I'd get that. I then also, from the same sort of aisle, picked up this. Oh my god, it looks really watery. It's quite oily in it. Anyway, it is the Coconut Moisturised and Nourishes Mineral Salt Scrub with Natural Dead Sea Salt and Coconut Oil. I love anything coconut related. I just love that coconut smell. It reminds me of holiday. I feel like it's so... Oh, let me just give it a little sniff. Oh, actually, <laughs> actually you can smell it. I mean, like that and it's plastic on it, but you can... Oh my god, something's just gone in my eye. Oh my god, this smells insane. This smells so, so good. Anyway, the reason why I brought this was because I'm an avid fake tan user and I am quite lazy sometimes. I don't always scrub off my fake tan in between tans. And then what happens when I do that is I end up getting a massive build of a tan. My skin basically looks like a massive crust. It looks disgusting and vile and I've got a massive, like, clog of... 10 layers of fake tan and it's the hardest thing in the world to get off. So, yeah, not good. So I really wanted a good scrub to be able to get it off with. Um, so then it leaves my skin nice and soft and ready for a fresh application. So I thought I'd pick up this. I think it was about a couple of pounds. Um, but you get quite a big tub and I feel like this will last me a while. And it also just looks amazing. Looks like it's got a bit of oil in but I feel like this is going to be really good for the skin. So anyway, I got that. Okay, next thing I picked up was two more bath creams because, like I said, I'm a bit obsessed with my bath. And ever since I've moved here as well, because I've got like a freestanding bath and the bathroom's just amazing, I just love bath time so much more. So, I picked up two of the Imperial Level ones. I've been really enjoying these. Um, I got the Relaxing Orchid Yanglan Yanglan. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Yang, Yang, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, this purple one, which smells so lovely. Let me have another little sniff. Mmm, smells really fresh, so I like that. And then this one I actually picked up last time, and honestly, this smells so, so good. It actually reminds me of um, that Comfort Intense fabric conditioner. Uh, this is the Moroccan Spa Orange Blossom and Argan Oil. Honestly, try this one if you love a bath. It is so, so good. Um, so yeah, I got that one as well. And they were only around, I feel like they were 90 pence each. They weren't too expensive, that's why I got two. And then the next thing I picked up was just some simple cotton wool oval pads. I like the oval pads, not the dead small ones, just because obviously they remove a lot more off your face. These are only about 59 pence. Um, I normally get them from Primark actually, but they were really reasonable in there. So yeah, I picked up another pack of those and I just use them simply with my micellar water. I always use them after a cleanse just to make sure that everything is off my face. Um, and then the next thing I picked up was just some more Tresemme hairspray. I have been using this hairspray for like 10 years. It is my absolute favourite. It's number four, the pink one, extra hold. I just like this because it doesn't go too crispy. It's just, it's really soft to brush out of your hair as well. It smells amazing. I just feel like it does a really good job of holding like curls in all day, slick rick, <laughs> slick rick. Yeah, it's not the cheapest. I think it was about two, three pound. Yeah, about three pound. It definitely wasn't two pound. Um, but yeah, I love it. So I had to get some more. Okay, moving on to some cleaning stuff. Next thing I picked up, you guys know I love these. These are just simply the Harpic um, Fresh Power Toilet toilet things but i still don't know what these are called does anyone know what these are called leave it in the comment bar below because every time i hold these up i'm like toilet thing i don't actually know what they're called but yeah then things that you have in the toilet that smell amazing oh these smell so good these are my two favorite scents summer breeze and tropical blossom they were a pound each and yeah i always like to stock up and have some in the cupboard so i got some of those Next thing I picked up was a restart of the flora because I absolutely love the flora. They didn't have like loads of scents that I love though, um, so I just picked up my favourite, which is the lavender escape. This is honestly my favourite at the moment. I feel like this was a pound each. Yeah, it was a pound each. So I got two of those. I then also picked up some Fabulosa because they did wild rhubarb in Fabulosa. So flora, you were slacking. Seriously, you were slacking. Why do you not have wild rhubarb? This, girls, is life-changing. 
oh my god <laughs> this smells so good so if anyone has the method rhubarb antibacterial spray for your kitchen you will literally love this because it smells identical but it's in it's a floral version so you can put it down your sinks you can put it um on your skirting boards you can just put this everywhere um and it's honestly so so good as you can see i've already used literally three quarters of the bottle so i'm gonna have to go back and get some more i don't know how much this was i feel like again it must have been around the pound mark and maybe a little bit cheaper i'm not too sure i know you get more than the sephora so maybe it was a pound but honestly this is so so good i feel like sephora needs to get on it and make some more sense i would like a rhubarb and i'd also like a vanilla so yeah love that and i'm definitely going to pick up some more of those next thing i picked up was a mug i feel like i pick up a mug every time i go into poundland home bargains b&m one of those stores because i absolutely love mugs i live for cups of tea tea is my absolute favorite i love coffee but I'm definitely a cup of tea girl as well. Cup of tea and biscuits are like my favourite thing ever. Let me just drink this before it goes cold. And yeah, I just love a good mug. Honestly, I don't know what it is with mugs, but I'm just obsessed. I got this one which says, Girls rule the world, which I just thought was really cute. And this was really inexpensive as well. I can't remember actually how much it was, but I know it wasn't dear. Um, so anyway, yeah, I picked up that because I love that. And then I actually also picked up another mug. Um, this one was actually not my cup of tea. It was my hot water and lemon. I absolutely love ginger, lemon and honey, uh, sometimes in the morning, just to help with my chest. And it's just generally really good for you. It gives you loads of good benefits, which... I'm not gonna list because I don't actually know, but I know it's good for you. So yeah, this simply just says on it, hot water and lemon. I feel like this was around about 180, 190. So it wasn't the cheapest, cheapest mug, but it was really beautiful. And I just thought it was so appropriate for my hot water and lemon. So yeah, I thought I'd pick that up. Okay, so moving on to the next bag. I'm actually gonna move on to food. Oh my god, I've got stuff absolutely everywhere. I feel like you can't go into home bargains without looking at the food because they do some really, really affordable food, guys. I actually picked up three bags of crisps. I'm not normally like the biggest crisp person, but I like them at the weekend. I like to have crisps in the cupboard. Do you notice if I fancy a bag? I mean, look, gotta treat yourself. Gotta treat yourself. If you fancy a bag of crisps, have the crisps. That's my motto. So yeah, put that crisps in the cupboard just in case fancy a bag at the weekend. So I got three bags because I didn't know which ones to pick up and they were all only a pound each, which is so, so cheap. So firstly, I got Monster Munch because they're my absolute fave. Pickled onion and the flaming hot ones are my favourite. Not really into roast beef, um, but they didn't have any of the packets. So I just got the pickled onion ones. You get five in a pack. Uh, then I picked up these Cheetos in flaming hot. You get eight packs in here. Oh my God, so, so good. I mean, I say eight packs. You probably need two packs to even have like 20 puffs <laughs> do you know what i mean i feel like the pack sizes are getting less and less and less like you open it and there's like four monster munch in there so anyway i picked up a pack of those i don't actually feel like i've ever had cheetos and flaming heart oh my god where have i ever been so i got those and then i also picked up snaps oh my god does anybody remember these i feel like i always used to get these on the way back home from school they're like 15p in the corner shop. I really, really love these. They're a pound again, and I got the A pack. I then picked up a pack of Ritz. I feel like these were only a pound, and you get six snack bags. Oh my god, I've been loving crackers at the moment. Cheese crackers, crackers, cheese crackers, and then caramelized onion chutney. Oh my god, the best thing ever. Honestly, I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm going to start gaining weight. Oh, there's no tomorrow. Now Love Island's back on, guys. I've been honestly snacking so much. I feel like Love Island comes on. Quick, make myself a hot drink. Go and get some snacks. And my snack of the moment has been Ritz crackers, caramelized onion, and cheese. I love cheese. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's been my little snack at the moment. So I thought I'd get a little pack of these so I don't eat the whole box of Ritz. So, yeah, love those. Okay, next thing I picked up was some instant noodles. So, you guys will know that I recently tried super noodles. Yeah, where have I been all my life? I don't actually know. Um, but I picked them up, like, last time I went into one of these places, like, Pan and Home Barbie, just so I thought, do you know what? They'd be so good just to have in the cupboard. There's them times where you can't bother to make anything or you're in a rush for something, but you need to quickly have something. I just feel like they're really good for that, so that's what I got them for. And honestly, they came in so handy. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed them as well. So I noticed in um, Home Bargains, they had these ones called Kuka. Is that is that the brand? Kuka? 
oriental instant noodles these are honestly like 30 something pe so it was so inexpensive um so i thought i'd get a couple of flavors so i've got two chicken ones i got a curry one and a masala one anyway i thought i'd try them out they're really inexpensive and like i said they're just good to have in the cupboard just for if you want it on the go quick easy snack okay next thing i didn't actually pick this up i'd love to know how much this was i feel like does anyone else's boyfriend do this when you go shopping with them they always sneak something in and it always ends up being like really expensive for what it is i mean i don't know how much these were i bet it was like a pound just for this little small tin and yeah, he's not even at them. I remember we got to the checkout and I was like, oh, what, who are they for? What were they for? And he went, oh, I'm hungry now. And he didn't even eat them. Okay, next thing I picked up was some fruit. This was actually on offer. Something healthy in my shop. It wasn't all junk food. I absolutely love tinned fruit. This is obviously not tinned, it's in plastic. Um, but yeah, I love that like tinned fruit. I just, again, it's something really easy, quick, simple to have as a snack option. If you're hungry but want something a little bit more healthier. Um, and these were five for one pound so they're only like little jars but i got the peach chunks in juice yeah i got two of those actually i got three of those um and then oh i got four of those oh i got four peach chunks in juice and then i got one um gold pine gold pineapple in coconut water um turns out i love peaches i feel like gemma's got me into that gemma you have so got me into peaches it was so funny when i went around gemma's house she was like, oh, I've not got many snacks because I don't do like a big food shop. But if you want anything, I have got peaches. And then she opens his cupboard and there was like stacks, like stacks of like big pots of these like peaches. So funny. So yeah. And then do you know what? It was so funny because I really craved them after that. So yeah, I feel like Gemma's got me into the peach hurt. So blaming her. Okay, next thing I picked up was some drink food. It was a lion bar. Do you know what? I actually feel like I've never had a lime bar. Am I missing that? I don't know. But this is only 30p. It was on offer at the front of the store. I swear they were about 35p. They weren't expensive. Um, and it's lion white bar. I've never had a lime bar. I really haven't. So yeah, I thought I'd try it. Um, Aaron says they're quite nice. I'll let you know what I think. So I got a lion bar. Okay, next thing I picked up was actually something for Father's Day. Father's Day is fast approaching, guys. Um, so my dad's like the hardest person to buy for for Father's Day. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't spend an awful lot on him. I'll either get him like, I don't know, a t-shirt or a top he likes or I'll take him out for dinner. Um, but I thought I'd just get him a few little knickknacks. I feel like when it comes to Mother's Day, I get my mum so much because mums are easy. But like when it comes to Father's Day, my dad is just most... I don't even know what, how to describe it. He's just unappreciative <laughs> that's what i would say my dad's one of them people that's like what the hell you got me this for so yeah anyway but i thought that the things i did get him like little knickknacks were actually good my dad's not a knickknack person he's just like just buy me one top and that's okay whereas i'm a knickknack person i like to buy little things for people and wrap it up and give them a, a big gift bag with loads of cool stuff in you know whereas my dad doesn't really appreciate that but anyway i got him a few little things because they had a whole stand in home bargains like they always do for any occasion so much father say things so first thing i got him was this tin because i do actually know that in his room he does have a couple of these tins and he saves like two pounds up um so i think he does well he did when i lived at home so i got him this one that just says bank of dad hands off um, I feel like this was only about a pound, so I thought that would be a good little thing. It's a really good way of saving as well, you know. Like, you, you can end up having, like, a £100 in one of these. I don't know how much they actually do fill up, but I'm pretty sure if you filled this up to the top of £2, you'd have about at least 100 wouldn't you? And the next thing I got him was a cup. I don't know if he'd appreciate this or not, but I like a cup. I know my dad loves a good cup of tea in the morning, so I thought I'd get him this one. It says, Dad's Tea Time. Um, and it's like a golfing one as well, and he does like golf. So yeah, I thought that'd be quite appropriate for him. And again, that was about one pound something. It was very inexpensive. And then the next thing I got him was this Milka chocolate. Do you know what? I never see Milka chocolate in like supermarkets. But surely it must be, but I never do. But they have so much of this Milka chocolate in home bargains. And I know my dad likes um, Cadbury's fruit and nuts. So I got him Milka raisins and nuts. Just a big bar like that. This was one pound something. Um, so not too expensive. And the last thing I got him was this little biscuit. I mean, I don't know what this tastes like, but it looks really cute. 
and it just says number one dad on so i got him that as well and then to put all that in i got him this gift bag which was only 79p and it says the man the myth dad the legend i forget anyway got him that i'll probably get him like a t-shirt or something as well ask him what he wants because i'm not choosing it okay moving on to the last couple of things back to the food um i also picked up some spicy mexican rice this was two pounds you get three packs so you save yourself a pound because they're normally a pound each it's just the uncle ben spicy mexican rice again another quick easy convenient thing to have in the cupboard i'll just have that with like sweet chili sauce on again if i'm in a rush i need a quick lunch and um, i also picked up this this is like one pound 20 i think it was fajita kit smoky barbecue you get one season mix one salsa and eight flour tortillas um never had this but you know i'm a massive fan of fajitas so i thought i'd try that also picked up some tacos god i just love mexican food guys um again this is only one pound something and they're normally around about wow if they're not on offer these are about three pounds something if they're on offer they're two pounds so yeah it was a lot cheaper than what it was in the supermarket and this is a sweet pre sweet paprika and garlic taco kit by old el paso absolutely love these as well so i thought i'd get those and then moving on to the last thing guys i just oh god that was so heavy okay moving on to the last thing i simply just picked up some washing powder i have been using the pods but i feel like washing powder is better like i don't know i just feel with the pods i have to put like two or three in to make my washing smell nice and i don't know anyway i bought this because this is the pods i use i do like the smell but i just wanted to get this instead because yeah i thought i'd get the powder and put it in that way because i just feel like yeah you can put how much you want in um and this was three pound which i thought again was really inexpensive so i got that so yeah that wraps up and brings us to the end of my home bargains poundland and pound treasure haul i really really hope you have enjoyed it god i bloody love myself a home bargains poundland and pound treasure haul i feel like i need to go to b and now that's the one place i've not been but yeah thank you so so much for watching guys do remember to hit the subscribe button if you are new here give the video a big thumbs up and i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye